it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. If you are not in the mood for Halloween yet, you will be after my series of videos using this super cute stamp set. It's Julie Nutting, it's Witchy Poo, and it's adorable. I'm also using Kelly Perky paper, some art ingredients, and the Gold Luna Wink of Stella pen. And if you leave a comment right here on this YouTube video, and make sure you're also a subscriber to my channel, I'll be giving this stuff away thanks to Ellen Hudson. I have a video here on my YouTube channel, a video on Ellen Hudson, and another video on Stamp Nation, all using the same supplies and some of the same techniques. So if you're ready, I will show you what I have in store for you today. Now the products I'm playing with are the, the stamp set, the paper pack, some really fun patterns in here, which I have had a ball with paper piecing them onto this darling little witch. And then the Michael Flakes and glass beads. And I've used these in a couple different ways in my other two videos. Now this piece here I made for my video on Ellen Hudson and I'll link to it here so you can check it out. But basically I glued down little mica flakes and then I let it dry and then I put a layer of translucent embossing paste over it. And it is a really cool look, super easy to do. And actually let me back up for a second before I did that, I put some distress ink on top with my applicator tool. So that was really fun. And I thought I wanted to try it again and try it on her dress. So I did just that. I made her a little sparkly blingy dress and on another video, uh, the one on Stamp Nation, I did a doily. I put first mark on here and then gold embossed it. Really quick and really easy. Great way to customize your doilies. And I'm just pulling off a piece. I'm going to add it to the dress. And on my other um, cards, I made her a Caucasian witch. Well, on this one, I decided she needed to have a green face. And I really love that look. So let's dive in. I'm going to make a one layer card. I'm going to start by using the chevron stencil with the delicata gold ink. I use this also on my card on Stamp Nation so you can get different way to uh, incorporate this onto your project. Actually I use it on the Ellen Hudson one too, so on both of them. And I'm concentrating it first in the center and then I'm just going to spread it out so it gradually fades out and I won't have like a stark line. It'll just uh, gradually fade to white. Ah, that looks awesome. All right, I'll put that aside for a second and I will embellish the witch. I have my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. So first I cut, I stamped and cut out one doll and then I stamped her a few more times and colored in the different pieces and then cut them out. I wanted to give this dimension and also it was really easy to do it that way because I could color outside the lines. <laughs> Now before I glue the dress on, I wanted to add a little doily accent to the bottom. We'll just trim that out. Alright, so I'll add her stockings first so that the dress can lay over the top. So she is ready to go. I'll set her aside. When I made my other cards, I wanted to use the Happy Haunting by itself, so I did a little stamp surgery and just uh, poked some scissors through there and cut around it. It was a little tedious, but it worked. And then you can still stamp these together or you can stamp them separate. And now I have this really cool label shape that I can stamp alone. And I thought it would be fun just to use it as a little accent right along the edge here. most of my pieces all set so now it's a matter of assembly and I took a little strip of this really fun purple patterned paper from the same pack and we'll just trim out the end. This will kind of give us a little anchor piece on the card and then we can add all of our little embellishment pieces. A little pumpkin and obviously I colored this up I colored all these in with Copic markers and I did that by myself, sorry. I <laughs> thought it would take too long to show you everything on this card. I want a few more little accent pieces, so I thought these wooden stars from Studio Calico would be really fun. If I can pull out some bigger mica flakes, I could add that first 
and then add the star on top of it. I also decided to add a, one of the little licorice beads right next to each little cluster. So it's the mica flake, the star, and the bead. And they're pretty fun. Just a couple more little things that I forgot. The band on her hat. This is a gold Wink of Stella pen, and it's perfect for something like this. And then I'm noticing right here in her arm, it's very stark white. And behind her is um, all that chevron gold, and it looks weird to have that. So if I, I thought if I filled it in with gold, it wouldn't be so popping out. And then I also thought if you wanted to do some little accents with this too, just to add in some more gold and some more fun, you can. And actually now I think I'm going a little bit overboard with this. So I do a couple more up here just to even it out, and then I'm stopping. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's one layer card with a little bit of embedded mica embossing and beads and mica flakes and a little copa coloring and a whole lot of fun for Halloween. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this little Miss Witchy Poo. <laughs>